All right, guys, it's day three, and I'm checking out of the Hyatt Regency Resort here in Mission Bay. I'm getting ready to check out. I'm trying to get my stuff together. Uh, I got all my <laughs> electronics crap all over the place. And the internet sucks here. The internet just sucks, okay? I paid for the premium internet. Um, I can't even remember how fast they promised it to be, but I cannot upload these videos that are like four or five gigs big. Just can't do it with this internet connection. So I'm gonna have to wait until either I get to the next hotel, which will be today, or when I get back, I may have to do it because I've got really good internet at home. So anyway, I'm just getting my stuff together. Uh, you know, I've got my bags packed pretty much. I'm uh, making sure I don't forget anything. Um, but I'm gonna be heading up the beach. Probably, uh, I don't know, it's just a couple miles up the beach to La Jolla Cove. I'm gonna be staying at a place there. I'll, of course, update you, shoot a video there when I get there. But uh, yeah, just hanging out, chilling. Um, I'm gonna find a coffee shop so I can, um, just to hang out and do some, uh, answer some emails real quick for my business. Um, and then go out and find something to do. <laughs> There's always things to do around here. Um, I didn't get to, I'm a little disappointed I didn't get to do the jet skis. It's just, it's a little cold and I think I would look a little funny with a wetsuit on a jet ski. Probably be the first person ever to do it. I don't know. So I'm gonna skip that. I did see that they have surf lessons here, which could be cool. I'm gonna see what that's all about and check into that. Um, there's also, um, well, there's also some other things I'm thinking about doing. I don't want to tell you though, because I don't want to put it on video and then maybe I don't do it. And you're like, well, where was that? Why didn't you do it? So I'm going to head up the, co up the uh, coast here and go up to La Jolla Cove, check in my hotel there once I get packed and uh, find some things to do. I uh, may go to the aquarium um, or there's also an indoor skydiving place, which would be kind of cool. I'd like to do the real thing, but it's a little late notice to just say, hey, I want to go out tomorrow and skydive. So uh, I'm going to see you know, what else is uh, here to do and uh, just kind of hang out today. Tomorrow morning I'll be going out um, and doing another dive. I'm actually diving with some seals and sea lions tomorrow, which will be a first. And I'm a little, a little afraid of the, uh, of the sea lions, but people say they're like underwater dogs. So they're, they're like dogs and they don't really bother you. They just mimic you and they're curious little creatures. So we'll see. Um, I still have to upload my video for my dive yesterday. I had a really cool dive. We were supposed to do a kelp dive off of Point Loma. Turned out that there was no kelp. It's just not, you know, it's not late enough in the season yet. And the kelp needs warm waters and everything to grow, just like, I guess, uh, land plants. So they weren't, uh, we couldn't find any kelp, so we just decided, you know what, let's just do a wreck dive. So we did two different wreck dives, one off the Yukon, the Yukon wreck, and one at the Ruby wreck. And uh, I got videos of them, but the video sucks because <laughs> I forgot my filters. I left my GoPro filters at home. And so it's really, really green. I tried to edit in post-production, but you'll just have to take a look at the video and see. It should be the video before this one. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head on out to La Jolla Cove, check out what's going on up there, check into my hotel, and get this show on the road.
All right, guys, just made it back to the hotel. I am stuffed. I went out and had uh, some great vegan food at a place called Trilogy Sanctuary. It's funny, I went over there just for as like a restaurant, but it's also, they've got a pharmacy there that's like organic and plant-based, and they have um, yoga up on the rooftop, uh, yoga. So really cool place. If you ever come to La Jolla Cove, go up there and check it out. It's called Trilogy Sanctuary. Awesome place. Um, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I uh, did a little shopping on my way back um, and also stopped by a place that serves vegan gelato. And it was just, there's a sign out there and I just had to get some. I probably still have chocolate on my face, I don't know. Um, then I went over to La Jolla Cove and watched the sunset. You can still see it a little bit. One second. <laughs> Loud door. Yeah, so it's pretty much gone. And they're still finishing up from the car show. Um, getting that cleaned up and get those tents broken down and everything. But uh, yeah, getting ready to call it a night soon. Actually, I may go up to a coffee shop just to use the internet um, and get some of these videos taken care of and uploaded. Like I mentioned, it's hard to do that here on the hotel. So I'm gonna maybe go up there and do that and then I need to get to bed early. Make sure I got my GoPro charged up for tomorrow's uh, dive off La Jolla Cove. But uh, yeah, it's been a really good day. In fact, I was telling I was telling my girl that uh, talking to her, and you know, she used to, she used to travels with me quite a bit. And so I was telling her, um, you know, I was going down to watch the sunset. You know, just kind of give thanks for the day and thanks for uh, you know safe travels and and uh, just a good all around day. And um, you know, it's pretty cool to just be able to take that time out of the day and, um, you know, just be still for a minute and watch whatever. It doesn't have to be a sunset. You can do this any time of the day. But at sunset, I guess it's more, I guess that with sunset, it just makes more sense because the sun's going down, the day is coming to an end, time to reflect on the day. So that's what I did today, just kind of sat down there for a minute. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just interesting that I'm so used to traveling with somebody whether it's a friend or my girlfriend or whoever. And uh, so traveling alone, it's just a little different. You know, um, you don't have somebody, you don't have anybody to share like these experiences with. And I think that's kind of cool because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like to share experiences with people. But if you can enjoy sharing an experience with yourself or just enjoy being in the moment by yourself, um, that's just an incredible, power or incredible thing to be able to to have within you is just to be able to, to love yourself that much to be with yourself and anyway I've learned a lot about myself and and you know being somewhere all alone um, and just being in the moment and being okay with that and being happy with myself you know a lot of people they they seek out other people they attach, latch on to other people or they latch onto other things and stuff. And so it's really hard for them to really comprehend what does it mean to actually like yourself, love yourself, be okay with just you, um, they, without all these possessions and all these people in their life. So um, anyway, it's just been an eye-opening experience for me. I think it's really cool. Um, and uh, I probably will be doing more solo travels um, coming up. Uh, hopefully not too much, <laughs> but um, if my girl is uh, available or whatever, of course I'm going to go with her. So, but I just wanted to um, to share that with you, and um, I need to process these videos, get to the coffee shop, and get to bed, and that way I can get out to the cove in the morning and early and dive. So, I'm going to cut the video off here, but I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next adventure.